going to give an overview now of how to do a backup uh, from your hard drive onto a USB key um, uh, on your 16-way DVR. So what I'm going to start off and just show you very quickly here. What we have is um, what we have inserted in the back of this uh, DVR is a USB key like this one. Okay. Um, so because we're filming location of a lot of cameras connected, it's just it's very awkward to film that. So we're just going to give an overview now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just click into the main menu by right clicking on the mouse, and then we can see uh, record search. So what we have here is the type. So we can just click here on the type and we can just manual um, schedule alarm. So we can go specifically for the type we're searching for. What I'm going to hear is just hit the search. And what I'm looking for is the 3rd of March, which I'm just going to click on here. And what I'm going to do here is, it was actually earlier in the day, so I'm just going to hit previous. And we're looking for a time slot between, uh, the instant we're looking for happened between three and half three. So I'm just going to click here. And what I can do now is I'll just, um, uh, I just have the uh, thing here and I'm going to click the backup button, okay? So th there's no selection here with terms of the drop down menu. I just hit backup anyway. So it's asking me, um, it's saying where am I going to save it onto the device, the USB. Now the other alternative we'd have here would be onto our um, uh, DVD router, but in this case we're just going to go with uh, USB. Um, so we know the starting date, we've selected that, and the starting time, we can select it, um, it's default, it's going to be half hour block, but we know specifically the incident we're looking for actually happened um, in a time frame of um, uh, between 20 past and 25 past, okay? So we just hit the return key there, and we'll just come down and edit this, we change this to 25, and hit return again. So we, it's only a five minute segment we want to do. Which channel do we want to record on? Well, it happened outside and it was on channel number eight. So what we'll do is, here is we'll deselect and we'll select channel number eight here. And um, what we can do now is uh, we just click here and that's been changed. So we know the file size is going to be 44 meg. So it's telling us that anyway. Now if we wanted it, we could click in here and we could go to the USB format here. And this will actually let us just go and format our USB. Might you just do that quickly. I'm sure we want to format it. Just go OK. So this will probably take, uh, you know, 10 or 15 seconds. And once we have uh, the USB key formatted, now it might be necessary to go through this step, I said I just showed here, but if we're br bringing up a USB key and we want to make sure there was no format problems or whatever like that, it might be just advisable to do it. And in terms of the, the, the extension file here, uh, the default is XE, but you could either go for um, the compression file, H264 there, okay? So we'll just leave it with the, um, with the default one for now. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is simply click OK. So what it's going to do is, it tells us that it's backing it up, so... Um, uh, or back, back upping as it says on the screen here uh, but it's going to give us the estimated time here um, you know the rally for a file like this is going to take about 25 seconds or so so it's just giving the elapsed time the progress to date and the actual estimated time the estimated time can vary a little bit as time goes on okay and that's it the whole thing has been backed up there and it's on our usb key so we can take that usb key at that point and bring it off we'll say to the relevant authority something like that if there was an actual incident that happened during that period of time so that's it anyway an overview of how to do um a backup of uh, from a hard drive onto a usb key uh, on your 16-way dvr